I started getting older and I started hearing about like persecuted church and the facts and figures of how many people are like unreached, I've never heard the gospel before. I think that's when I started thinking really about like, oh, I want to be involved in that. Like, I want some part in that, like reaching people who, reaching the unreached. Earlier this year, I felt God start to speak to me about mission and travel whenever I was listening to an audiobook of The God Smuggler. And I was just hearing about how um, in different closed countries, people have been carrying the word of God to support um, Christians and underground churches. And we can think that the Bible is freely available, but there's so many of our brothers and sisters who just long to have the word of God and so that they can be encouraged and read his word every day. God has transformed me on this trip by being uh, more appreciative of the work and the resources that we have back home. We've got so many Bibles at our fingertips and we've got so many kids uh, programs and resources and packs that we can use freely. What they go through just to be able to get a Bible in their own language and to be able to worship God um, and have fellowship with other believers. So that has completely transformed my understanding of, of what um, persecuted people go through. Don't let anything stop you, like pray about it, go for it, because it'll literally change your life, change how you view everything back at home. And I think it's really important to step out of our little bubble that we live in, just see how, how God's working in a place like this. <laughs>